Now here, it is semi-final time in the cup. Australia versus Pakistan. I joined the captains about 30 minutes ago. Fahim has called ahead. It has come down ahead. So Pakistan have won the toss. What are you going to do first and why? Uh, we were going to bowl first. Certainly are having a bowl. And uh, Pakistan unchanged for the whole of their tournament. Plus, good start. Really good start. Abhishek Junjun Waller and Brad Hogg join me in commentary. This is going to be a real good tantalizing contest. Going to try and shape it back in. There is that shape. It gets it through that leg side. Two fielders are out. Deep square leg, deep long on. Abhishek, this has been a great surface to bat on. It's been a brilliant surface to bat on, and we've seen the amount of sixes being hit. Looking for that swing, that's a really good delivery. He's shown that throughout this competition, Shahab Khan. Good average in T20s of just 11.6 and strike rate of Bolden. What a shot. That is clever. Flicked it over. First on, overdone. 14 without loss. Rotated those two players throughout. In to the right hander. No. Smashed. That is a good shot. It just shows two different bowlers again going for length. There's not confident enough to bowl those Yorkers, and those are easy picking. Just to show you where we are at the moment in this playoff semi final number one Australia, Pakistan. Not got it. He may be lucky here or land safe. Little bit of luck, I'll say again. Your full deliveries. That wasn't a Yorker. At times, you just got to accept as a bowler. The batter is allowed to have a little bit of luck. Well, wasn't quite on the money there, but the reason why it's an inside edge is Wood was trying to overhit it because of the pressure that has been built up here by the Pakistan bowlers. Slapped on that uh, offside. Misfielded, got himself into a position to stop it. Even with that delivery, because it's such a low full toss. Shoe. Once you bowl length, that's what happens. Super shot, super timing from Wood. The ball before was a slower one on a similar length and it just bamboozled Wood, but that was just a natural good length delivery. And Wood just goes bang, he likes it there. I think he went for the double bluff. Australia probably realising that even though they haven't got off to a start, perhaps, look, most sides won at least 50-60 in the first three overs. Oh. Went for that length again, clips, down. Asif Ali got himself into position to take it. It's all going wrong now. There's misfields, there's drop catches, there's overthrows. Everything's happening, three overs done, 44 without loss. Of an opportunity. Again, goes for the Yorker. It's gonna go wrong sometimes. And as a coach, you have to accept that. 50 up for Australia. That was nice, he picked. No, he went length. Caused pressure with balls. Very impressed with Wood up until now. He's been put under pressure. He's been finding it hard to find the boundaries because of the Yorkers. He gets one on a good length. He didn't use his height and try and hit straight back down the ground. He tried to slog it, and that's caused his downfall. He's out for 36. Lovely shot, serious shot. Again, length delivery is smashed out of the ground. Wood expecting a fuller delivery. Yeah. Lovely timer of the ball. And he has uh, played cricket all around the world and been successful. In those good Yorkers, it's out the toes, can't get underneath it. Good enough just to keep it alive. Now, Asif Ali. 
Niall O'Brien's favourite bowler into the attack. Dealt with by Dan Christian. And again. And again from Dan Christian. About Asif Ali, that he is the, one of the weaker bowlers in the Pakistan lineup. Well, some teams have used their weaker bowlers first up, try to get them out of the way. We are still on for it, let me tell you. Australia were never looking to get even anywhere close to 100. They're a shot away now. And again, five in five for Dan Christian. The 100 up for Australia. Are we going to see it? You bet we're going to see it. 37 in the last over. No. Asif Ali saw Australia get themselves over 100, and Pakistan will require 108. Six sixes. Right. Spin straight away. Guess what happens, Brad Ogg, when you just lob it up there? Wouldn't say love it up there, who's looking for the Yorker, Hazlitt, and not quite getting it, and getting the punishment. Two runs. That's a good-looking shot. That is a good-looking shot, and listen to the fans. They are trying to roar their team home. Competition, Asif Ali, make that 16. Pressure on Australia straight away. Wickets. They need wickets. Not when you bowl that length to Asif Ali. He didn't quite get the length right. And I've got a feeling he's going to bowl that length again. Balls. He's going to bowl that length again. He didn't learn from the Pakistan seam bowlers. The way things are going right now, Australia are probably hoping that they've lost all the balls. And again. Six sixes from his over. I'm nervous for him because we've seen six sixes a few times. I think it's a length delivery high in the air. There's a chance, there's a chance taken. Dan Christian, safe pair of hands. Australian needed to. Has done the damage. Good thinking by Feckett, he had to do something different. Not well renowned for the going for those Yorkers, so change the angle. Australia there. Can't bowl length. You can't bowl length here. Another short ball. Not wide enough. Big over this. Big over. Little bit of luck for Pakistan. One six and one four for Atlak so far. The outside edge would want to break it. I've got to say again, sliced. It's sliced, does he think? Nice. Don't mind that, but it's going to get punished. Tried to go wide. Too bad a ball. He tried to go wide. Again, it's that lovely loop that he's got, which allows the batter to get underneath it. So a good start to the over for Pakistan. Yeah, Barwood already under pressure. That first ball of the over. And again. Wanted it to go to the fielder. Maybe didn't get a lot of it. But it's back-to-back -back sixes, and all of a sudden now, he's under pressure, Australia under pressure. High in the air, the keeper, who was standing back, takes it. Aklak, who has not been out in this tournament so far. Again, a little bit of overspin as well, extra bounce. I think, where do I want it to go? There. That isn't a bad delivery, that's a decent shot. I thought he got it. Great shot, game of inches as we always talk about. It's not gonna work. Floated up there, it's a good shot, got underneath it. Pakistan closing in on 100. They only require 12 from seven now. For the Yorker there, and a little bit of width as well. You don't get it right with these short boundaries. Deep mid wickets. High in the air, high in the air, and Pakistan. Enough. 
Christian, full toss. Wristy shot over the leg side and he gets the maximum for it. Go back to that opening spell from... Saw them frustrate the Australians. Another decent Yorker, this isn't over yet. We're talking up like Pakistan are already in the final. You never know. Dan Wynn. What a shot. That is not a bad delivery, but a beautiful looking shot. A great end by the Pakistan captain. He bowled well, he batted well, he captained well. Respect between the two teams. And it is Pakistan who thoroughly enjoyed it. The winning moments here, Dan Christian did not bowl a bad last over. That was an excellent delivery, but equally good batting for Fahim. Trying to land six Yorkers in six.